All right, good evening, everyone. It is six o'clock, and I will call the first regular Common Council meeting to order. Will the clerk please state the quote of the evening? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Don't aspire to be the best on the team, aspire to be the best for the team. All right, thank you. Will the clerk please call the roll? Alderperson Ackley. Here. Alderperson Decker. Here. Alderperson Feldy. Here. Alderperson Flicky Paneski. Here. Alderperson Heideman. Here. Alderperson Mitchell. Here. Alderperson Perella. Here. Alderperson Ramey. Here. Alderperson Rust. Present. Alderperson Salazar. Here. There are 10 present. Thank you. Um, next, we'll have the Sheboygan Police Department Honor Guard present us with the colors, so if everyone could please stand. shoulder, arms. Ready, cut. Reset, arms. All right, if you'd please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Shoulder, arms. Order, arms. Ready, cut. Four, arms. Ready, three. Ready, two. All right, please be seated. All right, next we'll have our invocation from uh, Pastor Julia Hollister from First Congregational Church. It's my pleasure to be here with you today. My husband and I have served First Congregational Church for 28 years, and I'm very proud to say that Judge Natasha Torrey is a member of our congregation, so glad to be here tonight. I'm gonna take the privilege of not offering an invocation so much as a blessing. This comes from a book of blessings by John O'Donohue, and it is a blessing for leaders. And I can't think of a group of uh, more better leaders than this. And so it's a blessing, it's also a charge. So let us take these words to, to heart. May you have the grace and wisdom to act kindly, learning to distinguish between what is personal and what is not. May you be hospitable to criticism. May you never put yourself at the center of things. May you act not from arrogance, but out of service. May you work on yourself, building up and refining the ways of your mind. May those who work for you know you see and respect them. May you learn to cultivate the art of presence in order to engage with those who you meet. When someone fails or disappoints you, 
May the graciousness with which you engage be their stairway to renewal and refinement. May you treasure the gifts of the mind through reading and creative thinking so that you continue as a servant of the frontier where the new will draw its enrichment from the old and you never become a functionary. May you know the wisdom of deep listening, the healing of wholesome words, the encouragement of the appreciative gaze, the decorum of held dignity, May you have good friends to mirror your blind spots. May leadership be for you a true adventure of growth. Gracious God, we ask your blessing upon these public servants. Bless them with your presence and your peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Julia. Next, we have a land acknowledgement from Travis Gross from the Sheboygan County Historical Society. Travis, thank you. Thank you for having me here this evening. Uh, Travis Gross, Executive Director of Sheboygan County Historical Society the past 10 years, and a committee member who developed this land acknowledgement statement. We acknowledge that in Sheboygan County, we live and work on traditional Potawatomi, Miami, Sioux, and Menominee homelands along the southwest shores of Michigami. This acknowledgement recognizes the forest removal of the native people from this place and ask all of us to learn the history to respect and support indigenous cultures in Sheboygan County and Wisconsin. Thank you. Thank you, Travis. All right, next we will do the swearing in for the alders elect. So I'll ask the alders elect to please come down into the well of the council chambers here and line up in order of your districts. We're going to go in, in the middle. Yep, come and scooch together in the middle here. We'll transition from the swearing in of the alders to the city attorney. Same deal. Yep, come on down.
right. And we'll transition from the city attorney to the city clerk. <laughs> I'm Meredith Sturm, who has been elected to the office of city clerk of the city of Sheboygan, who solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the state of Illinois. And will faithfully and impartially <laughs> now we'll switch roles and s now we will swear in our municipal judge. All right, we'll jump to item number 10 then. Next item, adopting the rules of the Common Council. Alder Feldy. Thank you, Mayor. I move to adopt the rules of the Common Council. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, this is a roll call vote. Please refer to your muni code. Ten eyes. All right, that item is approved. Next, we'll jump into the election of President and Vice President of the Common Council. Alder Feldy. I move that nomination be received from the floor, voting to be done by closed ballot, and if two or more candidates are nominated, the can candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list, and balloting to continue until the candidate receives a majority. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Are there any nominations? Alder Heideman. Uh, I nominate Trey Mitchell for president of the Com Common Council. All right. Is there a second? Is there a second? I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. Any other nominations? Alder Rust? I nominate Alder Dean Decker for council president. I second. It's second. Been Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Are there any other nominations? Are there any, uh, Alder Perella? I make a motion to nominate Amanda Salazar as a vice president. No, we're just doing president right now. Okay. okay. Alder Salazar? No. No, oh, okay, sorry. All right. Are there any other nominations? 
All right. Is there a motion to close nominations? It's been moved and seconded. All right. We'll hand out ballots. The city clerk will administer ballots. And Chuck. And Chuck, the city attorney. <laughs> Anyone need a pen, marker? <laughs> the choices are Alder Trey Mitchell and Alder Dean Decker. Dean or what? <laughs> Thank you. And then the city clerk and city attorney will collect the ballots. Just raise your hand when you're ready. Scott, you can play some uh, waiting music if you got something queued up. Yeah. Oh, okay. He had that queued up. <laughs> with the votes uh, counted. Congratulations, Alder Dean Decker. You are the new council president. <laughs> All right, next we will move on to the election of common council vice president, Alder Feldy. I'm mo I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by closed ballot, and if two or more candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Are there any nominations? Alder Perella? I make a motion to uh, nominate Amanda Salazar. Is there a second? A second. It's been moved and seconded. Any other nominations? Alder Heideman? Uh, I nominate Trey Mitchell for Vice President of the Common Council. Alder Heideman is nominated Alder Trey Mitchell. Is there a second? Is there a second? Last call, is there a second? Second. All right, there's been a second. It's been moved and seconded. Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Seeing none, Alder Feldy, is there a motion to close nominations? Yes. Pardon? Is there, do you move to close the nominations? I do, I, I been, move to close them. It's been so moved, is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Again, city clerk and city attorney will pass up ballots for vice president. The candidates are, are Alder Amanda Salazar and Alder Trey Mitchell.
what? being casted. Congratulations, Alderwoman Amanda Salazar. Okay, next we got to jump to the election of representative to the City Plan Commission and representatives to the Capital Improvements Commission. We will start with nominations for the City Plan Commission. Alder Feldy? I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot and two or more candidates are nominated, I'm sorry, nominated. The candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and validate to continue until one candidate receives a majority. Second. All right, it's been moved and seconded. Any nominations for City Plan Commission? Any nominations? Alder Decker? Uh, I nominate Trey Mitchell. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Seeing no more cues. Is there a motion to close the ballot, Alder Feldy, and cast a unanimous ballot? I move to close the balloting and instruct the city clerk to cast a unanimous ballot for Alder Person Mitchell for the representative on the City Plan Commission. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor as Trey Mitchell as the representative to the Plan Commission state aye. Aye. Any objection? All right, that is approved. All right, now we need two representatives to the Capital Improvements Commission. Alder Feldy, is there a motion to open up floors for nomination? Yes, Mayor. I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot, and two or more candidates are not, until two candidates are nominated. The candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the, from the no, we need two of them, so I don't think we're gonna go to, if three or more are, um, we'll continue until one candidate receives a majority. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any nominations for Capital Improvements Commission? Alder Salazar? Uh, I nominate Roberta Feliki Paneski. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Other nominations? Alder Salzar. I nominate uh, Barbara Feld. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any other nominations? Any other nominations? All right. Seeing none, 
Alder Feldy, is there a motion to close the balloting? I move to close the balloting. Second. And cast a unanimous ballot to. I move that the city clerk be instructed to cast a unanimous ballot for uh, Roberta Flicky Paninski. And I didn't hear the second one. You. <laughs> you. Me. Oh. <laughs> no wonder I didn't hear it. I blocked that out. Um, for representative on uh, capital improvements commission. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor, state aye. Aye. Any objection? That is approved. All right, next um, we will recess the Common Council order. Uh, common Council and convene into op uh, for committee the whole for the purpose of electing a committee the whole chairperson. I will turn it over to uh, Alder Decker. Wait, which one? Top, bottom. When he starts. Okay. okay. Then that would be yours. Okay. So. Okay, we'll call the uh, common council to order. Uh, committee for the committee of the whole. Um, we are looking for a. Um, Motion for an alder to uh, start the balloting for uh, committee the whole chairperson. I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot, and if two or more candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list, and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay, motion made and seconded. Are there any nominations? I nominate uh, Alder Person Zach Rust. Second. Okay, there's a nomination and second. Are there any other nominations? Um, Alder Mitchell. I nominate Alder Joe Heidemann. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Okay. There's a motion made and second for Alder Heidemann. Also a Alder uh, yep. Alder Rust. Uh, are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other no nominations? Uh, with no other nominations, I need a motion to close the nominations. I move that the city, nope. I move that nominations be closed. Second. Okay, motion is made and seconded to close the nominations. Um, move the city, okay, we need to guess, we need to do pass all the ballots. Not? Okay. Do you want to be on or off? Yeah, oh, it's on now. Ballot. It's open ballot. One vote for Rust. Vote for Rust. Oh, sorry. Rust. Heidemann. 
Heidemann. Rust. 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 And rust. Congratulations, Alder Rust. All righty. Oh, and with that, we adjourn the Committee of the Whole. And with that, we call the Common Council <laughs> meeting back to order. <laughs> All right. President Decker, what is the report on the election of the Committee of the Whole chairperson? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, the C Committee of the Whole uh, has been elect has elected Zach Rust as the chair. All right. Congratulations, Alderman Rust. Next, President of the Common Council message. Alder Decker, do you have a message to present? Okay. Do I have to in front or right here? Just Wherever you're comfortable. Oh, this is fine right okay. here, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mayor, Sorensen, Mayor Sorensen, fellow alders, department heads, city employees, fellow citizens, I want to thank my fellow alders for their faith in, my, in electing me to this position. I also want to thank my wife, my wife Debbie, and my children Josh, Zach and Danny for their support. As we look forward to this new council year, we have a lot of challenges ahead. I believe, the, I believe we are up to these challenges. In the hiring of new administrator, continuing effort to seek out developers for both affordable and conventional housing, and our continuing efforts to improve our infrastructure, these being our top priorities. I feel this group is up to the challenge and I look forward to a great council year. Again, thank you and let's get started. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> thank you, Alder Decker. Now we'll jump to the mayor's message. All right, good evening everyone. Attorney Adams, City Clerk De Bruin, Judge Tory, department heads, city staff members, council members, my fellow Sheboyganites. I'm honored to welcome you once again to a new session of the Sheboygan Common Council. As the mayor of this great city, I'm so proud to stand before you today as we embark on another chapter in our collective efforts to serve our community and make Sheboygan an even better place to live, work, and thrive. First and foremost, I'd like to extend my sincere, sincerest congratulations to the newly elect, elected members of the Common Council. It's great to have everyone back and your commitment to public service and your willingness and dedication for your time and energy for the betterment of this city is commendable. I look forward to working closely with each and every one of you on the Common Council as we move forward in the coming months to address the aspirations of our residents and many businesses throughout Sheboygan. Your continued service and dedication to Sheboygan is truly invaluable. Your experiences and insights are critical as we face many challenges and opportunities ahead of us. Together, we can build upon the progress that we have made and continue to move Sheboygan forward. As we convene today, let us remind ourselves of the trust that the citizens of Sheboygan have instilled in us. They've elected us to represent their interests and make decisions that will affect their lives. Let us never forget that we serve the people of Sheboygan and our duty is to act in their best interest as well. So let us continue to leave forward with compassion in a positive attitude. In the coming months, we'll face many important decisions that will shape the future of our city. We will work on initiatives to promote economic development, improve our infrastructure, enhance public safety, build more housing, and promote our great city. We will strive to create a city that is inclusive, sustainable, and resilient for generations to come, where all residents can have op uh, access to opportunity that they need to th thrive. I urge each and every one of you to bring your unique perspective, experiences, and ideas to the table. Let us engage in a constructive debate, listen to diverse viewpoints, and collaborate to find innovative solutions for the challenges that we face ahead of us. 
Let us work together in a spirit of unity, mutual respect and understanding, and cooperation that always has the best interests of Sheboygan at the forefront of all of our minds. In closing, I want to express my unwavering commitment for the work hand, to work hand in hand with the Common Council, our city staff and department heads, and all stakeholders throughout the Sheboygan so we can make this city proud. I am confident with our collective efforts that we can achieve many great things for our community. So once again, welcome to the new session of the Common Council. Let us embark on this journey together with optimism, determination, and a deep sense of responsibility to serve the people of Sheboygan to the best of our abilities. Thank you so much, and may God bless the great city of Sheboygan. City Clerk, anyone for public forum? There's no one this evening. All right, next <clears throat> we'll have mayoral appointments, which we'll pass out. Okay. Do I get one? Yep, you and Chuck get one. All right, and those committee appointments will lay, lay over. Alder Decker, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor of adjournment, state aye. 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 We are adjourned at 6.36. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.